Hey, so I just want to put something out that's on my mind, you know? So it's not going to be a long video. It's not going to be uh, a how-to video. It's not going to be none of those type of videos today. You know, I just got in, man. I just got in from a good uh, workout session. Cooling off now, sitting on the patio, about to get to work, about to open up uh, this laptop, about to turn on my business cell phone, and I'm about to get to it. So, got my son in there, he's crying, my little seven month old, he up in there is probably sleepy. Got my five month old in there, and guess what my five month old did last night? He tried to cut his own hair. <laughs> so, I had to go ahead and shave it all off, you know, check him out. You know, check this little video out of him. So yeah, you know, man, I just want to, you know, just put man my, uh, you know, what I think about, you know, out in this video right now, just had a good thought. And basically it's like this, when it come down to anything in life and in this world, it don't matter what you're trying to do. It don't matter what's going on in this world Whatever you want, you got to put in the effort and you got to put in the energy. You know, I don't care what it is. In this world, the results that you get out is based on the energy and the effort that you put into whatever you're trying to do. I always felt pretty much in my life, whatever I want to do, I do it because I'm going to put the energy and the effort in to making sure that I accomplish what I basically set out and wrote up that mission plan for. You know, everything I do in life, you know what I'm saying? Big shout out to the army. Like I always tell you guys, glad I went to the military. Straight discipline. So, Everything I do in life, it's always a mission behind it, you know? I'm never going into anything, especially that's going to be a life-changing decision. I'm never going into it blind, you know, aimlessly. You know, that's not me. So, I just want to put this out there to you guys. Whatever type of energy you put into whatever you're trying to do, Whatever type of effort you're putting into it, that's the result you're going to see. And that's in your personal life and in business, you know? So whatever it is you're really trying to do, make sure that you're putting in the effort. You know, make sure that you're putting in the energy. If you guys want to start up that trucking company, freight dispatching company, freight brokerage, or whatever it is. The effort and the energy that you put into it, those are going to be the results that you're going to see. So some of you guys right now is not seeing the results because you lack putting in the effort and the energy into your business or into yourself, you know? Basically, your business is going to reflect who you are as a person, too. So some of you guys out there, you just want to come into the business because you think it's an overnight, you know, success. You guys think that it's an overnight get rich type of scheme thing. No, nothing that I'm doing was overnight. I'm going on three years into my business, which is not a long time either. But I'm going into three years of straight consistency, putting in energy and effort every day into my business and into my personal life. You know? And the things that I think about, 
and the things that I want to put the energy into and the effort into, that's what I put it into. Where my dog barking at? Got my dog over there barking. So, like I say, man, this ain't no how-to video. It's just a video, man, just to let you guys know where my mind is, you know, when it comes to this business. The energy and the effort that you put into it, that's what, you, that's what the results will be. And it's that simple. I live life very simple. A lot of you guys out there live life very complicated. But I think life is simple. It's all about how you make it. It's all about the energy you put into whatever you're trying to do. Those are just going to be the results. You know, I always felt when I was in high school, I wasn't smart enough to go to college. So that's why I went to the military. You know, because I was afraid to take the ACT and the SAT, thinking that I was going to fail it. The military was a little bit easier. I just had to go take the ASVAB to get in which I barely passed. I barely passed the ASVAB to get into the uh, Navy. You know, so big shout out to the Navy. Went to the Navy in 2005, got out in 2010. Commissioned as a first lieutenant in the Army in 2015. Started my trucking company in 2017 and got released from active duty in 2018. So going back on how I was too afraid to apply for college because I thought that I was going to fail. And then I eventually got a bachelor's degree. Eventually I started to understand when I joined the military, the effort that I put into whatever I'm trying to do, those are going to be the results. So when it was time for promotion, from E2 to E3, E3 to E4, E4 to E5 in the military, I was on it, you know? And I was putting in the, my, I was putting in the energy and I was putting in the effort to get promoted. Then when I got out the military, I went to college. I was scared of college, you know, prior to that. Then I went to college because I said, I wanna be an officer in the army. The only way that I was going to be an officer in the army is for me to go to college and get a bachelor's degree. That was the actual requirement for you to get your bachelor's degree, to be a commissioned officer in the army. I went and I put in my energy and my effort and I became a first lieutenant in the army. Big accomplishment too big accomplishment if you guys become officers in the army so if any of you out there that's enlisted right now that's in the military if you plan to go to the military which i do encourage you guys you know that's why i'm here where i'm at right now because of what i have on right now too because it taught me so much about life and discipline you know and being organized and being you know, adventurous and ambitious, you know? A lot of you veterans out there can understand me right now too. So like I say, man, this is not a how-to video. This is just a video to tell you guys out there. This is a business. This is a personal video, you know? Start putting in that energy, start putting in that effort into your personal self, then put it into your business and then Everything else around you will work itself out, you know, and I'm just living proof right now. I'm living the best right now in my life than I've ever lived in my entire life, you know, and it's a good feeling. It's very, I, I can't even articulate it, you know, like I always tell you guys, you just gotta, you just gotta be you know, you just got to be there. When people tell you, man, man, I took this vacation and it was amazing. You know, beautiful scenery, you know, good vibes, good people. That other person that you telling that story to, they could kind of visualize it, but they would never understand it until they get there. You know, so 
Man, I just want to end this video by saying big shout out to one of my subscribers. Man, I had a conversation with one of my subscribers yesterday. They go, man, this guy goes by like four or five names. So anyway, big shout out to ABBA, the UPS driver, or uh, the singer, you know? So anyway, man, he told me something yesterday that really hit home for me. You know, because when I'm putting out these videos, I don't understand the actual, you know, impact that I'm having on somebody else's life. The inspiration, you know, that I'm uh, in the energy that I'm giving off on these videos. I don't understand it, you know, because only thing that I do is press record and upload, you know, because only thing that I'm doing is just being myself on the video. But I do understand that I have an audience now, you know, that lot that that love my videos. <laughs> so I just got to keep going. You know, I got to keep pushing. So he said something yesterday that stuck with me. He said, man, I've been watching your videos for a while. And, and this is an older guy. You know, this guy is older, too. And he said, man, after watching your videos, I'm already obsessed. I'm already obsessed you know i just need to talk to you so i could commit and execute and that stuck with me you know and it's gonna stick with me because he really just said something that really just put a spark in my mind to say man i can't stop doing what i'm doing i gotta keep going i gotta keep pushing i gotta keep getting to it you know man if anybody have any questions out there hit me up on my email broker at managetrans.com go visit my website www.extraordinarymovement.com go get you 30 day free trial with DAT go sign up with TASH Trans and Financial Services if you guys are looking for a factor in service CEO commit execute and be obsessed everybody be great out there